the darkness, I thought I would never see light again. Journalist James Naktwe photographed people with tuberculosis in South Africa, Cambodia, and other countries for this slideshow being displayed around the world. Health experts say tuberculosis is preventable and usually treatable, yet it continues to afflict around 9 million people each year. It kills one person every 20 seconds. Naktwe's pictures are being distributed by a coalition called Action. Joanne Carter of Action in Washington says because of decades of neglect, TB has now developed into newer, deadlier strains. Some are extremely drug resistant. Health workers, they're more powerful than you think. Measuring results and making everybody accountable for action. Together, we can unleash the power of health workers. It's an opportunity we can't afford. Malaria, tuberculosis and HIV. I am happy to share with you that uh, it has been halted and now reversed. Health Minister J.P. Nadda claiming that India has reversed the spread of tuberculosis. Experts dispute this, saying India still has the highest burden of TB in the world, that is, the largest number of cases. The National Strategic Plan proposes to eliminate TB by 2025. The plan itself is great, but the budget required is several fold higher than what the country has been spending on TB. TB is a known disease. पूरी दुनिया के टीबी मरीजों की बात की जाए तो 30 फीसदी भारत में है जिसमें से ज्यादातर टीबी मरीज उत्तर प्रदेश में हैं। टीबी मरीजों की कुल संख्या लगभग 30 लाख है दो हफ्ते से ज्यादा खांसी आ रही हो या रात को पसीना आ रहा हो वजन ना बढ़ रहा हो या आपका कमजोरी हो रही हो तो इन सब के जो सिम्टम्स हैं इन सिम्टम्स को जिन जिन के घर में मिलते हैं उन लोगों के घर से उनका बलगम का कलेक्शन होता है बलगम दो बार कलेक्ट कर लेते हैं उस बलगम को हम लोग पहले स्लाइड बनाते हैं स्लाइड में देखते हैं कि उस पर बैक्टीरिया है कि नहीं है और उसके बाद उसको सीबी नाग मशीन में जो बैक्टीरिया का डीएनए देखा जाता है वो उस तरीके से देख लेते हैं इन इंडिया मोर देन 400,000 पेशेंट्स डाई एवरी ईयर ड्यू टू टीबी causing pain and suffering to millions. This cannot be allowed to continue. The Prime Minister appealed that the country should aspire to end TB by 2025, five years ahead of sustainable development goals. Bharat ko hume TB se mukti dilani hai. TB ka upchaar aasani se ho sakta hai. The nation has heard his call and the national strategic plan with multiple strategies was formulated last year to provide quality care to about 2.8 million TB patients annually across India. The budget is more than doubled and activities initiated in full earnest. Today, I am doing this month that Bharat has been working on वर्ष 2030 से पांच साल और पहले यानी 2025 तक टीबी को खत्म करने का लक्ष्य अपने तय किया है। More than a thousand CBNAT laboratories 
and 74 reference labs have been set up in the last two years, remarkably reducing the time taken to diagnose TB. Universal free drug susceptibility test with CBNAT has been initiated this year. This will ensure patients receive appropriate regimens for treating both drug-sensitive and drug-resistant TB upfront at the time of diagnosis. Better and patient-friendly fixed-dose daily regimens were introduced for adults and children across the country last year. Newer drugs like Delaminate are being introduced. Bidequilin is now being expanded across India and is served through 147 DRTB centers. These drugs will benefit an estimated 20,000 eligible drug-resistant TB patients henceforth in the country. To improve notification and complete treatment of all TB patients, engagement with private sector is also being enhanced through several innovative approaches like incentives to private providers for TB notification, support for free drugs and diagnostics, including CBNAT test for patients in private sector. All chemists mandated to maintain Schedule H1 register to capture details of anti-TB drugs sold in private sector. My government has therefore decided to allocate rupees 600 crores to provide nutritional support to all TB patients at a rate of rupees 500 per month for the duration of their treatment. Each and every TB patient notified by both public and private sector will now receive an incentive of rupees 500 every month for nutritional support through direct benefit transfer to an Aadhaar linked bank account. To improve case notification, treatment compliance and outcomes. Financial incentive, which was limited to tribal patients, is being expanded to all TB patients. Breakthrough information technology leveraged through Nikshay. Tuberculosis is the leading cause of death from an infectious agent globally and in South Africa is the leading cause of death in all age groups. Currently the estimate is that we have over 400,000 new TB infections annually in South Africa and we have a significant number of deaths, over 33,000 deaths from TB every year. And many of those uh, people with TB are co-infected with HIV. Finding the missing cases, dealing with multi-drug resistant TB and preventing TB through the scale-up of preventive therapy but with a focus on 3HP. I'm definitely confident and positive to say the 3HP medication is going to work beautifully. Because say healthcare workers are three times more likely to contract TB. And this is worse in overcrowded and under-resourced public hospitals where infection control is inconsistent. Tuberculosis has been the leading cause of death in South Africa for the past decade. According to the Department of Health, 60 people die from TB every day. Even though countries like South Africa have introduced new technology and medication to fight the disease, Experts say at this rate, it would still take another century to fully eradicate tuberculosis. These patients are being treated for multi-drug resistant tuberculosis. It's a form of the airborne disease that can't be treated by the two drugs normally used to cure it, rimfampicin and isoniazid. 
They're hoping the World Health Organization's decision to declare the disease a global public health crisis will lead to a solution. Especially patients like Abubakar Lawal, who was taking normal anti-TB drugs for months. But the symptoms of the disease, coughing, fever, and tiredness, didn't go away. Then his doctor realized he was resistant to the treatment. Abubakar has to spend eight months in isolation and another 20 on medication. It not, has not been easy. Like me, we are confined to one place for months away from your family, your friends, your social activities, and uh, you are subjected to taking drugs every day, including injections. Drug-resistant TB is normally caused when TB is not diagnosed properly and not taking the normal drugs effectively. But there are not enough hospitals to treat tuberculosis that's resistant to the drugs that are normally used to cure it. At this hospital, there are only 20 beds for patients, when more than 4,000 new cases are being discovered in Nigeria every year. At a regional conference on TB in mining, delegates highlighted the issue of migrant workers. 40% come from outside South Africa, mostly from Swaziland, Lesotho, and Mozambique. South Africa mining sector is 886 million US dollars per year. Implementing measures to tackle TB in mines would lead to financial benefits of 783 million US dollars per year. The more infection you have, the more companies spend and the more the government spend on, uh, on, on treatment. So we looked at if you avoid those infections, then you have less investment in terms of treatment. Thank you.
government of Bangladesh. We reach 101 million people and ensure uh, case detection and treatment for over 160,000 TB patients annually. This constitutes 65% of the total number of notified TB cases in Bangladesh. The cure rate is 94%. Tuberculosis was among the subjects covered at the UN General Assembly. Peng Liuan became the World Health Organization's goodwill ambassador for TB and HIV AIDS in 2011. She described her feelings and experiences at the meeting. She also shared stories of unsung heroes in China who have been selflessly dedicated to the cause of combating TB. She said progress has been made because the Chinese government and society attach great importance to the cause with the enthusiastic participation of about 700,000 volunteers. The detection and cure rates for TB in China continue to rise, and infection and mortality rates are falling. Peng said the rate of awareness about TB prevention is now 75 percent in China. Kenya is among the 30 high burden countries globally and among the top 14 with a high burden of three diseases TB, HIV and TB, HIV. In Kenya, TB is the fourth leading cause of death with an estimated 169,000 people falling ill with TB annually. TB therefore is not only a medical problem but also a social economic one which disproportionately affects our poor. With the support of the Global Fund and other partners, a total of 1.2 million Kenyans have been diagnosed with TB and 1 million TB patients treated successfully over the last 10 years. We would like to see the declaration emanating from this high-level meeting, embracing the key asks and setting in motion the bold response needed to, add the, to end the global tuberculosis epidemic. Investing in research and development is critical if we are to develop new diagnostics, vaccines and medicines. It is only with new tools that we can achieve dramatic reduction in the incidence of tuberculosis. To succeed, we need to ensure that the drugs are affordable. We must also adhere to the 2001 WTO Doha Declaration on TRIPS. Ultimately, all our efforts to end tuberculosis will not succeed unless we implement universal health coverage. Ladies and gentlemen, Pakistan is among the seven countries 
that are most affected by TB. But our government is fully committed to end this epidemic by 2030 as envisaged in the Agenda for Sustainable Development and WHO End TB Strategy. Challenges notwithstanding, our TB control program is one of the best performing public health programs in the region. Free TB diagnostic and treatment services are available in more than 1,700 public and private sector facilities across Pakistan. More than 120 advanced diagnostic facilities and 32 specialized treatment facilities have been established across the country for free of cost early diagnostic and treatment for multiple drug resistant TB patients. Sakit na TV Di na problema Yan ay ising isi TV Free Philippines It's time to speak up It's time to end TV It's time for a world without TV It's time to stop TV death It's time for short and simple TV treatment it's time for an effective TB vaccine. It's time to fight against TB. It's time to no more fears. To end the minute of fears. Together we stand. Together we fight. Together we march. Towards the one brain. It's time to end TB. It's time. It's time. It's time we share our thinking. Combine our expertise. Diagnose as one. It's time we raise your expectations. And then. And then. And then exceed them. It's time you have. Peace of mind. It's time for partnership. Teamwork. Collaboration. It's time thousands of medical experts have one. Focus. Your health care needs. It's time. It's time. It's time to end TB. It's time to end TB. It's time to end TB. It's time to end TV. 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 Now it's time to end TV. It's time to end TV. Now it's time to end TV. It's time to end TV. It's time to end TB. It's time to end TB. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. Together we stand. It's time to end TB. It's time to no more fears. To end a minute of years. Together we stand. Together we fight. Together we march. Towards the one dream. It's time to end TB. It's time. It's time to end TB. It's time to end TB. It's time to end TB. It's time to end It's time to end TB. It's time. Drive for improving patient care and community engagement. With a strong political will to succeed and adopting right approaches, country is marching towards a TB-free India. We are committed to TB-free panchayats, TB-free districts, TB-free states, TB-free nation and TB-free world. I will be there for this child and care for her as she grows. I will do all within my powers to help my little girl make healthy choices. I will join the fight. I will spread the word, making sure we are prepared and strong. I can see things starting to change. There are still many challenges, but I know I'm making a difference. I will teach my daughter to treasure life. And I will be there. Today, I have hope. 
there will be light again.